So we've decided not to change the TV to teach him a lesson. Look here. <laughs> Guys, um, the place looks strange. We don't like to hear about screen time, but we had to tell them straight. We, we, this is what we have to do because people at the back of the store can hear as I hear screaming <laughs> pineapple. Sunday guys today's the next day of course um, we just came home last night and ate our pizza Hold on there. Oh. so the air fryer partially burned the chicken but that's okay we'll survive because we'll go flavor it up and thing so of course as I mentioned in last week's vlog currently what I'm doing on Sundays is cooking two types of meat enough rice cut up some veg so that during the week i don't have to cook all i have to do is to warm up food i made some curry chicken and already right there curry chicken and butter bean if you've never had butter beans and curry chicken chef's kiss this is my air fried chicken but as you can see it's a bit burnt but we don't hate it because as i said i'm going to put some sauce on it i just took it out to flip it guys learning how to do this to the chicken is amazing i'll show you the next time i do chicken and also i didn't have the twine i think that's what they call it so i watched a video on youtube where they literally show you how to use the fat and to stick the drumstick through it just so you can hold the chicken properly amazing so now i'm just gonna put this chicken i use my tongue but Let's just ensure. I'm sure there's a better way to do this. I just have not Googled it because this way works. I don't know how to show you guys while. Wow. All right, so this is the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the air fryer and let the other side get crispy. Can you please come out of the kitchen? That was good. What was funny? Alright, so I cut it down to 20 minutes this time. Basically, that... So normally, I don't just put it down like that. Probably that's why it gets burnt. Normally, it's like legs up or... Yeah, so let me just see how that cooks for 20 minutes. And hopefully, it's not burnt. Then afterwards, I'm going to put on the barbecue sauce. Glaze on it so it can caramelize and taste yummy. I have not started cooking the rice yet, but that's why. He's just baking. I'm not baking, I'm cooking. <coughs> Do you want to say hello? Show, show them your teeth. Come, come, show them your teeth. Chaos. So, because we're in the apartment and it's winter, the food smell gets trapped in the house. So what we started doing is putting a curtain to block this area and then we close the door over here and then we turn on the vent. So the vent here that the, the apartment gave us 
it's not to 100. I realize only if you cook at night the back burner, it will suck up all the food smell and all the, you know, smoke, whatever. But if you're cooking on the front one, you're good to cook. So yeah, we just block it in because I'm doing like way more cooking than usual anyways today. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. To be honest, I don't know if I'm going to turn on by the camera. I feel so exhausted for the vlog that you guys got last week, which is which was the vlog where Zaire went to the dentist. I was up until 3, 4 a.m. just to make sure that it got uploaded and fully, you know, sort out everything. It was just, oh my God. I was so tired. Because remember, we went to the trampoline park last night so yeah i think i kind of need to find a fix for how i edit my vlogs on saturday like i can't rely to do it anymore because normally 4 p.m to, to 9 p.m is the sweet spot but maybe i need to start waking up early on saturdays edit it early in the morning before everybody's up and then i take a nap in the afternoon and then if we want to do anything we're free to do anything and then you know i'm not up late saturday night i probably have to consider that but yeah <sighs> bye this is not even the full 20 minutes and it's burning the skin i don't know what's going on i normally do the chicken on 400 so that's a bit weird i don't know maybe it's the angle where i'm turning the chicken maybe this skin and then the skin on the back is like the most tender I don't know. I don't know. I'll go to my look though. <laughs> okay. So. Turn on this contrast. Nope. Anyways. Good sis is all glazed. With some barbecue sauce mixed with Thai chili sauce. So. We're just going to let this caramelize. And yes. So my chicken is all cut up. And... I made some gravy that goes with this, my rice, and the curry chicken. I'm done and I'm about to relax. <sighs> Probably for like a half an hour. Just relax, chill for the Sunday evening. Maybe one cook Zaya here again. But this is why I did it so early the other day, right? Because when it gets to the way first thing in the morning, that's done. My hair still looks terrible underneath this bonnet. I still, oh my god. Anyhow, struggle for another day. But yeah. I'm gonna go relax and watch some more girlfriends. Happy Tuesday, guys. Um, I'm just coming to show you my little fro. I use the Honey Vera lemon, Lemongrass Gel. If you're in Jamaica, you can buy it at Lily's on Half a Tree Road. Yeah. It's where the Earth Elements bulk wholesale is. Yeah, I buy it in there. I bought it in there when I was in Jamaica, and that's where I normally buy certain hair products, like the Jamaican own businesses that make hair products. Yeah, I normally buy it there, so. And it normally give me a soft curl, like this is a gel and my hair is not stiff, which is good. I used to do this with Eco Styler, but everybody knows Eco Styler make your hair stiff. So anyways, today I'm heading into the office because that was my calendar reminder. Um, Today we're having lunch, like... The department is buying us lunch. They're having a Syrian kitchen pop-up. And they're like, oh, it would be great to have a team lunch, you know, that kind of thing. And then we'll stick, stay behind and watch the staff meeting on Teams. So, yeah. I just wanted to show you guys my hair. Big shot number three. Let's hope everything goes well this time around. <laughs> I'm at work now, so I will see you guys later. Maybe I can give you a purpose of my lunch. I don't know. 
the Syrian food. But let's see. That's if I get any. <laughs> Hello guys, buenos dias. Today is Wednesday and I'm on my way to pick up Zaire. It's my first day in a little while being home with him alone during the work day. Orlando, you know, had to go into the office today. So it's not a bad day for me because I don't have meetings today. I mean, I have a quick 15 minute meeting, but I'm never gonna bribe Zaire with my phone and the TV. Just them keep quiet during the 15 minutes. But we went to his school this morning to have a meeting because, as you guys know, he's still doing half days. So we went to his school to have a meeting with the resource teacher, the behaviorist, the principal, and one of the assistants who stay with him during the day. Um. We just told him honestly that he is frying his brain at home because we're working and all we can do is give him the remote. People don't like to hear about screen time, but we had to tell them straight. We, we, this is what we have to do because we're working. What else can we do? Like we have things to do. Anyways, we just spoke about the fact that, um, we're still trying to get him on a list to be assessed for autism spectrum disorder. And funny enough, we did a pediatrician appointment the other day too. And she provided a refreshed list of psychologists I could contact. I just contacted one of them. And her assistant was like, June 2024. I had a next appointment where well, she can't shut it in for. And I'm like, you know what? that bad but not so bad <laughs> because let me tell you some people not even a consider adding it to a witness so to get june 2024 that's good i mean getting that date also helps us to it gives you some renewed hope that there that we're closer to having an answer he needs to be assessed and to be honest I keep seeing like gifted assessments there too. I'd want to check him for giftedness, but one thing at a time. Probably even doing the autism spectrum disorder assessment will lead to us having the gifted test done at the same time. But yeah, at least we hear something, right? Like I'm about to fill out that form just so we don't lose that date because I don't know what's going on, but everybody up on a wait list of autism and it's kind of annoying. Like I'm like, all of a sudden, everybody is on the spectrum? Why is there so many wait lists? But once we have some sort of information, because even if he does not have autism, or he might have ADHD, or there's something there that we need, like they can tell us his learning style too, right? Because he doesn't like being in the classroom per se, so even if he's not on the spectrum and doesn't have any of those problems at least we can learn about his learning style and that can help us what a person has speed on a beef, so I should have taken it yeah yeah we just need to know his learning style so that we can have force the school board to give us some sort of assistance like we need that because us going to talk to them is just like we just talk and I say oh our child just needs to stay in school all day and we need you guys to give him an assistant but like with with something from a psychologist we can actually tell him that this is the case this is the situation he needs the support you cannot have him outside of school right so uh, let's see let's see i'm annoyed but what are we gonna do guys i don't think i'm catching this clearly yeah i know it's too bad but there's a snowstorm going on and the way how snow i drop as you can see those indentations like they were deeper 
and the snow are full it up. Oh, well, if a snow drop, man. My word. What's that? And it's blowing. Good morning, guys. So, remember how I showed you last night that, you know, it was getting covered. Now it's all covered. That on top there, somebody did that. Because even last night, somebody was idling and did some skiing on the side there. And it makes some chills and all of that is gone. This is a lot of snow. <laughs> the dog likes to snow. Music. You have to charge it. You have to actually allow it to charge. It's a snow day and he's coughing. He's also made me sick, so he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> See? Then be there. <laughs> this is a lot of snow. Wow. And it's still snowing. That's crazy. You want to go shopping? Yeah. What do you want to buy? What do you want to buy at the supermarkets? Good morning, guys. And today... Happy Friday, guys. Oh, it's so snowing. It's snowing. Good job. There's so much snow. There was a snowstorm. Yesterday was... Yeah. Yesterday was a snow day. Because the night before and the morning... And in the morning, it was just really snowing. Like, we, I think we easily got 20 centimeters of snow. It was a lot. Um, so yeah, Zaire stayed home yesterday. And in him staying home, he broke another TV. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I put up probably like a couple weeks ago, like early January, that he broke the TV in his room. I'll put that here, over this hey, side. Hey, I did. Yes, Zaire. You broke the TV. Ah, uh, you broke the TV. No, but yeah. No, no. I broke the TV too. That's right. Zaire broke the TV. No, no, no. No, no. You just mad. Hmm? You just mad. You were mad when you broke the TV? Wow, that's sad. You don't break things just because you're mad or upset. That's not nice. So yeah. How he broke the TV in his room earlier in January was by climbing up on the dresser in his room and like I saw his palm print. So it's like it basically just press onto it too hard and it cracked the panel. For this one, to be honest, people have been asking and I'm like, I think he might have used the broom or he might have thrown the remote. I'm not sure. He just came upstairs and he was like, mommy, I broke the TV or you broke the TV. And then why am I going to go downstairs? Is that messy? He would not say that if he never really do it. So that's why I must basically, I run downstairs and I panic now because I say, this really seemed like he broke the TV. And then by the time I start walking on the stairs, it might cry. So that kind of was a giveaway that it really happened. I was like, to be honest, guys, he's been through this. This is a different TV in the living room. So the TV he broke at first was the TV in his bedroom. And now he broke the TV in the living room. So both TVs are broken. The only good thing is that because the Samsung TV is so big, you can partially see something. So we're not changing it for now because to be honest, 
we've been waiting a little while to buy a TV for our room and we're just waiting on the right time and then if we go buy a, a replacement TV for the living room that's gonna set back our TV for the bedroom so no um but yeah we were both we were both working I had a meeting and Olanda was working. Olanda normally works upstairs. I normally work downstairs. So I would be there to normally see any foolishness where I am going with the one time upstairs at the meetings and so like this is the foolishness we carry on. But as Olanda say, right? Like normally he is upstairs working and Zahir downstairs by himself. So I'm just I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> This is a part of what we told the school. He's frying on the TV. He's home for too long of a period of a time, not socializing and that kind of thing. He got school for night um for nine thirty, and he's home by twelve. Like it just now, nah, it just now. Nah, I don't. That's a very short time period. So yeah. Anyways. I'm on my way to school with him. Are you going to have a good day today? Hmm? Are you going to go to the sensory room? No. No? Are you going to go to the music room? And play the harmonica? No, no. You don't want to play... Zaire's house. Zaire's house? Zaire's going to go to his house at... 12 o'clock. You gotta wait. You say it's out Jamaica. Oh, in Jamaica. That's grandma's house. You wanna go to grandma's house in Jamaica? Yeah. Yeah? You don't like the snow? Hmm? You don't like the snow? I know. The cold is so overbearing. No, when the people are park and the parking look how weird. What am I supposed to do? And the place is all snowy. And you're trying to park? It's ridiculous. Bruh. Alright, you know what? Let's go over that side. I suck at parking face in. I should be, I shouldn't be that bad at parking face in. <laughs> but I've only backed in. I'm mostly back in. Oh. What's wrong? You go backwards. Backwards? Yeah. Okay. Am I even okay right here? I don't know. Like I'm in line with the car over there, but to be honest, I'm not like I just don't like it. I just feel exposed. This parking lot is kind of weird because they're not them to shovel it properly. So the snow down in the way where you don't normally park. You ready to go, bud? Yeah. All right, I'll see you guys in a moment. Bye. Say bye bye. You just said bye bye. See you guys. See you in a. Bye. See you in a mo. Bye bye. 
What's better? Come on, let's go. Guys, um, the place looks strange. Like, I'm not seeing any parents. <laughs> High five. High five. <laughs> High five. All right, come on, let's go. It's after nine. Yeah, it's after nine, and normally the ends that are busier. Like, you'd see parents walking. I'm alone here. I'm not seeing anyone. I don't know if today was a second snow day. All this stress this morning might have been for nothing. <sighs> Let's go see. You want to go to Zaire's house? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. My thoughts are right, guys. Today is not a school day. It's actually a PD day. I believe they call it professional development. It's a day that teachers get to themselves. High five. High five. To do some work. Two high five. No, one high five. Mama's hand is cold. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, I think they said that teachers use this to mark papers, assignments, all sorts of something like. I think that's what they say. But you know, I I was thrown off because yesterday was a snow day. And I was like, he needs to go to school today. Not realizing that today was a PD day. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to go back to the car. You know, low-key... I kind of felt like I wasn't going to send him to school today. The one day, I was like, no. Just push through, send him to school. Because he missed school yesterday. So I was like, we can't make it a habit. We didn't just have miss school, miss school. And here we are. I mean, he didn't miss school yesterday. Yesterday was a snow day, but, you know. <sighs> It's so cold outside. It is so cold outside. Too cold. It's too cold. My fingers are dead. And it's lightly snowing. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. You say I broke the TV because Zaire broke the TV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have to say, I, mm -hmm. I broke the TV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is that so loud? <laughs> this is him entertaining himself because we know what is broken. Are you stooping to the rhythm? One hour later. We're at the house. You want to go inside the house? You want to go inside the house? Yes. So stop crying. If you're crying, we're not going inside the house. Stop crying. I made the error of taking this child with me to the supermarket. In my opinion, he was bored. So I was like, okay, you know what? He doesn't have the TV. I'm not going to let him sleep this. So let me just take him on the road with me. Because I was going to buy some lunch at Loblaws. Loblaws has a food deli. Well, the one that's close to us has a food deli. Where you can buy um, chicken, like fried chicken with wedges. It's not bad, so. I just decided to get that for lunch along with some juice. Do you want to go inside the house? Yes. Stop crying. We're parking. When we get inside the house, I'll finish the story. Um, it's a couple it's a couple hours later since I got back off the road. To be honest, I'm searching for the right light and I cannot wait until I change this phone to the Pixel 7 because the front camera on this is just, it's so disappointing. Like the Pixel 4 XL was just the best. Look who's happier now. I'm talking about playing catch. Like I forgot. And he's watching the broken TV. Did I didn't show you guys, did I? Okay, let's go show you. 
this is what we're dealing with. This is what we're dealing with. So we've decided not to change the TV to teach him a lesson. Look here. And then this is a second one he did after he broke this one initially. So he might carry on fine. Like he's, oh my gosh. So upset again. <laughs> I won't, I won't. Anyways, um, as I was saying in the car, I decided to take him with me because I'm like, catch it. throw it, catch it. Good job. Yeah, I know he's bored. He was home yesterday and today. So I was like, you know what? It's the supermarket. Fine. Um, sometimes me and him have good experiences when we go to the supermarket. So yeah, at first it didn't start out too bad. He saw different fruits, vegetables, and he was running up to them, grabbing them, calling the names, that kind of thing. No problem. Because, you know, it's an experience. So that's fine. Oh, I missed it. Come, come pick it up. <sighs> Until we got to, here you go. We got to the point now where he's demanding things. So for example, well, no, first of all, I, I was ordering the food. He's upset because he has to wait, of course. Um, we, I'm searching for soda and then he gets mad. <coughs> High five. <laughs> High five. He gets upset because, you know, I'm not doing what he wants to do. We get to the cashier section. I give him one of the boxes of the food just so you can feel involved. For an <clears throat> throw the box of food. Thank God they taped it with the barcode thing so that we can <laughs> cash it at the cashier and stuff. So at least my food never spill. In my demand for carry something. So I'm just like, alright then, you know what? Carry the soda while me holding it, you know, holding the weight, but just making him feel like him actually I hold it. Him decides that him can't bother hold it no more. Him says some flowers. Oh flowers, run up to the flowers and I start touching people and flowers. No, listen to me. I don't buy flowers, okay? So him damaging the people them flowers for me to actually have to buy flowers now would annoy me very much. So me I said him said no no come back don't touch it don't touch it drop it on the ground. You know them business that when them just don't want to listen them just throw themselves on the floor because they don't want to hear what you gotta say. So I said all right fine get up give me a hand him get up him reach over now and him say pineapples pineapple pineapple Zaire does not eat. Fruits, food, nothing. High five. <laughs> Zaire, na eat. Them something this. So him just want go over to the pineapple for touch pineapple. My friend says, Zaire, you cannot feel up, feel up with them things. Let's go. Pineapple. At this point, he's on the floor, lying down flat. Like people at the back of the store can hear Zaire screaming pineapple. It was just, and then when he got home, he went to sleep. Uh, there are just different trials every day. <laughs> different trials every day. Anyways, today feels like an Emily in Paris evening. And I bought some Coca-Cola and I'm gonna mix that with some Ray and Nephew. And I'm gonna chill. If I fall asleep, I fall asleep. Cause that's all rum and cold though. Make me drop asleep. But yeah, work is done, so. I need to shut down.